Okay, let's go and set up touchpad keyboard on your phone. If you already download this application or your phone come pre-installed with it. In this case, the City Blaze Park already come pre-installed. So let's go to settings. And let's find uh, language and input. Okay, right there. Language and input. Focus properly there. Open language and input, and let's go to virtual keyboard. Okay, so we have Google Keyboard there, Google Voice typing, and let's go and manage keyboards. And your touchpad keyboard is right here, so just let's uh, enable. And now let's go to home screen, open text message folder, and let's open. Let's type a phone number and then okay. And now let's okay. So let's go back to language and input. And I'm sorry, we need to um, do something else there to activate it. So we already um, open that and then. Uh, let's go to type in fun, enable touchpad, switch to touchpad keyboard, and then open it. Uh, select English US keyboard and Spanish US keyboard. Okay, so, so you hit to touchpad keyboard, just um. You can switch languages later, okay? Select keyboard shortcut, uh, number row, like you have uh, just one row for numbers only for faster uh, number input. So s leave that on and then set up finished, add languages. Now you can add uh, mixed language input. Uh, you can ask English, Ukraine, or English, US, Spanish, United States, and all of these other languages are available, so you can download it. Uh, you need a Google account and data service on your phone, and, and keep in mind that every download will consume your data package on your care from, from your carrier. So. Uh, yeah, so any of these languages, about 33 languages that you can actually um, add on your touchpad keyboard, okay? So right now you're gonna, you're gonna have English and you can check Spanish, which is uh, already pre-installed or English, Ukraine, and these three are pre-installed. So, okay, let's go back. And more themes. Uh, you can customize the themes of your touchpad keyboard, and you need a keyboard if you, I mean uh, you need data if you want to download the popular. But there are a few pre-installed already. And you can choose from. Okay, you can choose this, and you can just enable. We'll go back with this one and enable to. Um, Okay, well, you can choose the neon. So let's. It's already selected. So let's go and finish this. Okay, so let's go back home, open text message, and see what happens. Right there. Okay, so this is the theme that we choose. And to switch languages is the space keyboard, just touch or scroll, I mean slide la right or left to switch your languages from here. Um, okay, and you want to add more languages, just touch the world. Uh, English, English, Ukraine, Spanish, add language. Okay, and you have to come back here and download them as we did before. Okay, and 
let's open the touchpad icon and see you can switch languages you can change themes okay let's say that you want to try this and then go to enable and that's your keypad okay so let's go back here and this is your new them from your um, open it again let's see if you can split keyboard okay is this one so for fast level uh, 100 typing or text messaging uh, resize your keypad so you can actually make it smaller let's go to resizing again so you can only can go up and down okay so actually this make your uh, keypad bigger for yeah so let's go back here normal keypad um premium you need to sign up and pay uh, some fee if you want to be a premium user and you can add voice okay and you need uh, data for this and also um, the data package may be consumed if you use this feature okay edit so you can actually edit any of the shortcuts okay you can move around whatever you want to or in order to be easier for you to use your uh, touchpad keyboard and also uh, on settings you can actually change your let's go to general settings and see where you can change on that so key press sound okay you can actually um, add sounds when you press any key uh, key press vibration you can actually system default um, you can leave it like that or just remove this and set the vibration okay So this is the time frame of the vibration that you want to get on your touch keys touch uh, touchpad. Okay, now let's go to keyboard font, system default font or touchpad font. So let's uh, set the touchpad font, keyboard appearance. Um, so this is the size. So this is the size of the font on your keyboard actually, right? So you can see how the key the font change. Okay, and so whatever size you want to uh, get, just uh, so you can stop there. Uh, number row, okay? Number row, if you want to take off number row, just uncheck this uh, the box. And if you want to keep it, just leave it on. Uh, quick search show search icon on top of the bar you already have there on your keyboard you want to take it off just take this off classic style candidates show more than three candidates on top and then key press pop up normal long press delay key press normal closed advanced animations I think you need to actually key long press delay you set that already uh, key press let's go to normal input animation flora effect when inputting suggestion um, let's check this input animation and let's see how this
Okay, I don't see much deep in, sorry. Okay, let's go back to settings and actually general settings. Okay, so one of, one of the uh, nice thing of the, this uh, paper, uh, touchpad is that you can actually add voice feedback on your keyboard. All right, that helps a lot to, uh, for blindness and low vision uh, uh, people. Then let's go to where we add the voice. Open keyboard. So you can. Hello 2D. F. H, J, three, four, five, six. Delete. Okay. Yeah. So this is the voice assistance, voice feedback, self accessibility. So you want to get rid of this voice? Just go back to yeah settings, right? And then general settings and accessibility. Okay. All right. So just emoji prediction. Uh, you want to keep that? Just leave it uh, checked. You not just uncheck it. Okay. Uh, so this is how to um, actually. You want you you want to learn about a little bit about this, or you have any other questions? Let me know in comments and. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so you can have my tutorial as a reference in the future in case I need any other help on this uh, application, okay? Thank you. Okay, I decided to stay a little bit longer and I'm gonna go through the emojis that you can use on this touchpad uh, application. So let's go to emoji icon, icon and to open all of them. So these are emoji art that you can use okay four of them well, let's see that there are more like good night how's it going uh, great cool congratulations call me and then so on <laughs> I feel so sad so these are the uh, emoji art that you can actually send they already have in touch this touch but really cool and so emoji art is normal emoji. Yeah, so you can get actually everything. Okay. Uh, emotions or emo emoticon. Just uh, those. Okay. And. Also, there are, there are three sections so you can uh, let's do the heart. Okay, so those are the emojis on this application. Okay. Breakfast, no coffee, drink, graduation, Music. Gift. So they are really fun emojis that you can actually using this um, 
uh, I bet that the premium uh, um, membership is is much better and much nicer. But this is beautiful. So yeah, if you have any other questions, uh, let me know. I think that's it. And thank you. And we are in touch.